throw. Fires, caught at the 25, still on his feet, McIntyre to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, 5, gone! Touchdown, Auburn! The 2003-2004 season begins a new chapter in the Auburn Athletics history books as Rod Bramlett enters his first year as the play-by-play -play announcer for the Auburn Tigers. Uh, having gone to Auburn and graduated from Auburn, being in broadcasting, um, like I, I, I've said many, many times, I mean, it's a dream come true. I mean, this is a dream job. I can't imagine uh, if, folks, if folks like the job I'm doing, then I, I, I foresee myself doing this for a long, long time. Starting a new job is one thing, following an Auburn legend in your new career is another. I don't think that anyone, whether it would be me or, or whoever, uh, if they, if, I don't think anyone, if they went in thinking they were going to fill Jim's shoes, would be very successful. Because there was only one Jim fight, and I think it's important for everyone to remember that. And I think people do realize that. And that's the one thing that has stood out the most to me in the responses that I've received from fans telling me to be myself, that don't try to copy Jim. And I think that's great advice. And I think the fans realize there'll never be another Jim fight. And there are shoes that can't be filled. But I'm certainly honored and, and, and humbled by the fact that I was chosen to, to follow up Jim's legacy. Bramblett has been in the radio industry since his sophomore year in college and has been the announcer for Auburn baseball since 1993. This experience has helped Bramblett transition into his new role. I think my experience doing baseball and basketball will help in the sense that I, I know what's expected. Uh, having done basketball and been around Jim, having been around Jim during football games, I kind of, I, over the years, I, I now know what's expected of me. In the backfield along with Brandon Johnson. Brandon Jacobs in motion. And the give is to Smith. Up, over, and in! Touchdown, Auburn! 10.06 to go in the first quarter. Trey Smith up and over for the first score of the game. Along with his daily responsibilities as the Director of Broadcast Services for the Auburn Network, Bramlett now sets aside preparation time for his football broadcasts. Typical preparation is basically just sitting down and, and, and with the game notes going through, the game notes that come out each week and going through the rosters and putting together spotting boards and, and charts of that nature. In terms of actual preparation time, I'll probably spend particularly the week or two leading up to the game, probably at least three or four hours each day, uh, just doing little things like that. And it's the repetition, I think, that really helps you get prepared. You do the same types of things over and over. You, you read the notes over and over. It's, it's kind of like studying for a test. It's doing your homework and uh, getting ready for that big test. Of the many changes occurring in Bramlett's career, he also has an addition to his family life. Bramlett is now the proud father of a baby boy. Joshua Baird Bramlett was born Wednesday, October 1st at 6.15 in the evening, weighing 8 pounds, 14 ounces. Joshua is Bramlett and wife Paula's second child. They also have a daughter, Shelby. Even though Auburn fans are hearing a different voice for the first time since 1981, the voice they are hearing is familiar and that of a true Auburn man. 